The Rural Report, here on 999 ABC Broken Hill. What do you think, Amy? You can't get anything. Uh, and then we've got um, um, the painting. Rex is going to um, paint on the work. <laughs> paint um, oxides and, um, uh, and whitewash on these uh, pieces. They're uh, going to be abstract images of um, uh, people and uh, animals. Let's get some background information about the project. Uh, with Rex Turnbull, who's a very well-known Sydney painter, and um, this musician we see over here is Craig, who is one of the other residents of the Broken Hill Art Exchange. It has become one of the major events held in the Silver City, attracting people from far and wide. But like most things, it started with an idea. Fixing a hole in a kangaroo tail. <laughs> From the post office you go north up Argent Street, across Oxide Street to Iodide. You'll see Bow Repair. And everyone's going to light one at the same time, so it'll be quite dramatic. Cool. I was there for about two months in Broken Hill, and, and, and the area around it, of course, the outback. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, love, I love being up there. I love Broken Hill, I must tell you. And uh, we had a great time up there. Some people have said that the moon... Okay. So, um... Pieces have been made over the last eight days in the studio at um, Broken Hill Art Exchange. So you want to tell us a bit about it? <laughs> <laughs> and internationally, and uh, the visitor centre with its digital technology will also be used to direct people to the various parts of the project and support Broken Hill and bring more people to Broken Hill. Uh, no, need one more of those loads. Um, yeah. Okay, um, I think, oh he's filling up the water. Yeah, we'll be near the fish. I can give you a hand if you need a hand or something. Um, you want to Broken Hill has long been known as the art centre of regional Australia with over 30 galleries and about 200 artists based on and, uh, Just a few exhibitors but we had something like 300 at our first field day and we still attract those numbers and it was very hard because we didn't want fluffy toys and all that type of thing. <laughs> Broken Hill to live in 1970 um, and the first thing I did was sort of had a look around at the, the local art scene and, and it was just back to the lead up to the first event. We looked at the race course, we looked at the Memorial Oval and then we realised that the race course... But why? What's led to the development of such a thriving art community in Broken Hill? Well known local... Oh, Black has to go with the clay, with the Caelan. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, not the whiting. No. Uh, ...to past the Town Hall facade and courthouse to almost the very end of it. And because Argent Street is a no-through road from the end... So at about 7 o'clock, the, there's going to be a part of people come through. And... ...get in. And uh, it was really fantastic to see the, the uh, support that we got from the locals and away. Uh, for the first event. What do you think has kept it going all these years down the track? Well, we travel away. Fiona and I have come here and where art artists in residence. We're doing a residency at Broken Hill Artists Exchange, Art Exchange. It's a great art collector. And you go down to Howe Gallery here, which is the oldest regional gallery in New South Wales. Um, we've only in the last two days sort of rendered them with the clay.
clay that we dug up on site here because it was an old brickworks. So the mix was amazing. I was trying to source the right clay. That was my intention when I came to sort of find, you know, somewhere to um, find local sort of clay. Mm. But um, it was just here. <laughs> Sì, <laughs> sì, 